Hi, you're on the Blind Guy YouTube channel. Today we're going to show you a product that's from Harbor Freight and it's for kids or adults. Yeah, it's wooden puzzles. And here we are. What we have is wooden puzzles from Harbor Freight. And here you see we have the butterfly. And also, we have a cricket, and we have a brachiosaurus, and we have this one here. I forget the name of this one. I think it's a cicada. But this one we put together um, a few years ago, and it's pretty simple. It comes in two pieces of wood, and they are packaged in these boxes right here. And the boxes have on the back side have what part goes where. And also it has instructions. Let me get some better light here. Here we go. Here it shows you the numbers of the pieces. Here's the numbers of the pieces. And those numbers correspond like that's a nine. And then you find where the nine is on this piece over here. There's the nine right there. And you take that piece and put it in there. And then here's your instructions briefly with five other different languages. They're pretty simple to put together. I'm going to show you what you have to do to start. We've already got one here we started on. I thought, you know what, let's show uh, a video of this because... You do need some things besides what to come with. The, now, when you open your box over here, you'll have these two pieces of wood and they're already punched. They punched out a design, but they come in here like this and there's two pieces in there. You take those out. And they come with one little piece of sandpaper that comes with it. And that's for sanding off the rough edges. Um, your butterfly wings over there, this will be in here. And then you need to take all these little pieces here. Get a better angle there. Uh, take these little pieces here, and those will come out of the butterfly wing or wherever they're at. Like these little circles here, that's those holes right there. So you punch those out. It's pretty simple. But you have these scraps here left. You get rid of those. You don't need those and you'll have two pieces left like this. So once you get that all punched out and it tells you on the back, take your fingers and gently press those out and you'll have individual pieces like this right here. And that'll be like right there like that. And you'll just take and punch that out with your fingers and press it out real easy. And then there may be edges to sandpaper to get the little rough parts off. And one thing I've noticed about these puzzles is one side's a little bit smoother and one side's a little bit nicer. And so this side's a little bit smoother. And try to use your smoother sides to face upward, like on this butterfly here. 
Let's use this cicada since he's already finished and show you. This is your smooth side. So these parts are identical. So turn that smooth side up. And then the rougher side, you can see is a little bit rougher. Not much difference. A little bit of roughness on that. But you will need some Elmer's glue. And we got the Elmer's glue right here. Just get you a bottle of Elmer's glue. You'll need that. You'll need a napkin to wipe off the excess glue. You'll need a screwdriver. And that'll be for getting to little places where you can't reach with the napkin, such as down in here and wipe off the excess glue. And you'll need to do that. You'll also need a hair dryer. So get you a hair dryer and use it to uh, dry the glue so it can set up a little bit faster so your parts don't uh, flop around. And for example, like on this thing here, um, I try to even it up because they'll flop a little bit. Try to even even that up a little bit. And then when you put put the pieces together, um, go back like right here on this piece, for example, put you a couple drops of glue right in here and then smear it down with your finger like that. Take a napkin and wipe it down. It's pretty easy. The reason why I want to make this video is to let people know, yeah, you need glue to put these together, especially like on this piece here. These two pieces actually go into that one slot right there. And they actually slide down. And then on this one, we actually put extra glue behind this section here to glue it to this to give it more support. And then right down in here, we got a little extra glue like there. And here's your slots where the pieces slide in. I want to try to show you what you need, how the easiest way to put those in with the glue. And I think I'm going to show you with the leg that they all fit in. They're all the same. They all fit in right there, just like that. And as you can see, you're gonna need some glue cause they slide out real easy. So how do you put the glue in? Okay, per instruction, these legs, like this one here, are different numbers. This is like number 13. And this one's like number nine. But when you take the legs out and put them all together, they're all the same size, same shape. So it's not going to matter. I don't think which one goes where. Um, the only thing is, right there they fit. They're all the same. These two have a different sheen on them. So I decided that those need to go one way. That's like the bottom. So those are like that. But you need to get some glue and put your finger right here over this hole like this. Then put your finger in there and squirt your glue down in, down in there. Use this for a point. Put your glue down in this slot here with your finger underneath and that way you'll have your glue in just like this shake turn your glue bottle upside down shake it and get some glue in there and you want to fill that up and if it runs over somewhere that's fine just like that and i want to use i want to use one of these uh, this one here just got this nice finish not nicer edge as I was talking about on this side I want it to face outward 
kind of hard to do with the wings since they're pointing up. You put them on this side, you got the rough edge out. That side, you got the rough edge out. If you flip them around, once you paint them, it's really not going to matter. But what we're going to do is take that, put this in just like this. Try not to let the glue fly out or slide out. And then we're going to wiggle that in there just like that and slide it in and be very gentle with these so you don't break try to hold on to the the piece that you're working with right here try to hold on to that once you get the piece in there all the way take your screwdriver here pull your finger and move that glue around a little bit just like that Take your finger and wipe it in there like that. That works good too. You can come back on this back side and see if we can get that in there. Oh, I'm so, so close now, but right down in here is glue. And you're going to take that screwdriver and wipe that little bit out. Just like that and reach in take your finger wipe a little bit more out and so you can see down in there that it's pretty clean good enough if you See, this won't go down in there. So what I'm going to do here on this side is take this side. I'm going to put an extra drop of glue right here because it's easier to reach this outside. Put a little bit more glue right there. Just a drop like that. And I'm going to take it and rub it in all the way to that edge. That'll help it go better. Then we'll turn it upside down. And we're going to put extra glue here on this edge and here and on this edge. Just like this. If we can get that. Put a drop right in there. Or smear some in and then we'll take and get you a napkin and uh, just take the corner of the napkin in there and smooth that out like that and that'll work it into that little edge there and that's on the bottom so you're not going to see that as much a little harder place to see if we can get side here and then we're going to take and put some along this edge here put an extra drop you see a crack put a little extra drop right there in the crack that's just where like right here that crack that's where the pieces don't fit well all the way then we're just taking uh, work it in with a napkin and you can do this with your kids your grandkids do it by yourself. It's interesting. I've never seen any of these before until I bought these. I actually bought these several years ago. And I went today and looked online. Arbor Freight still sells these puzzles, by the way. They're $1.99 on their website. And so that's what they were in the store when I bought them. But it's pretty simple. And if you put a leg on this side, you can put another leg on this side. So we're going to try to show that again and uh, one more time put your glue put your finger under under the slot that it goes in and put you some glue in that slot there and hold that glue with your finger just like that because not much of it's going to be on top 
and pick you up one that looks good. Uh, let's see, this one here looks fairly good. I'm liking this right side better. And then take this and work it down underneath the plywood into it just like that and wiggle wiggle and there you go it's in there it's this small area take that and work that glue in just like that there you go and then of course put you some more glue wipe the excess off first take that napkin wipe it out and then you can take these things when you're done get some wipe the most of the excess off like that and your paint should cover that should paint on this Elmer's glue really good and I think I'm gonna put another drop of glue right there where we see a, a small crack right there get all you can to help hold it together put a little bit down in there like that and then if you can't get your finger in there take your screwdriver small flat head and work it in just like that see your finger might go in there just like that Take and get your napkin and don't forget to put some extra glue on the bottom sides and these are drying pretty quick but still wobbly so we're going to take a dryer and dry those okay here's another spot put this leg on and see it's you just rub that glue down in that little crack there be sure and push all your parts all the way in, like on this leg here. Be sure and push it all the way in to give it what it needs. Let's see on camera there that there's a little bit of glue left. But there's there's one side. Fairly simple. And if they look crooked or something like this one does, you can lean it a little bit to the left or lean it a little bit to the right, straighten it up. Take your hair dryer and heat it, and that'll make it stay where to stay. This thing has, uh, butterfly has six legs. And, yeah, it has six legs in a picture. There for a minute, I thought it didn't. But, there's your design. It's two at the back, and there's the other one, one in the front. Also, if it doesn't go in right away. You may have the wrong angle on it. So take it back out, slide it back in, and then take your thumb and just gently push it in all the way. See, that time it went in, I was doing that off camera and it wouldn't go in. But that's what you do, you take a piece back out, turn it a little bit to the left or right. Maybe it's hanging up on this edge right here. This edge right here where it goes in, you may have it touching this let's see if we can do one do a dry run here show you what i'm talking about if you if you put it in like that and then it catches the outside edge like that which is catching it right on this side here it's not going to go in and so when you slide it in it has to be in this in between the slot right there it has to be in between here you can't put it in there crooked for it to get hung up on the outside edge these puzzles say age six and up so and then take your hair dryer like i said i think i said and blow the hot air on here and that should help the glue to dry faster where you can uh get on to the next piece and like I said um, don't forget to put some glue in the joints underneath also and then take that and wipe that out like that 
all nice and clean right in here. And there's a little bit behind. You can take your screwdriver if you want to get nitpicky. And just slide that up like that. And that will make these things stay together a lot better. And see like here, you have one that's got a little rougher side and one that's got a little smoother side. So we're going to orient the rougher side here towards the inside like that. Now that should give it a more smoother side towards the outside when we're done, you'll see. Okay, here's the last piece. And we're going to put the glue in. And like I said, orient your your pieces to where that little rough side's out. Because they usually have one that's on one piece of plywood, one that's on the other piece. That's a smooth side. That's a rough side. And we're going to turn that rough side in. And be careful with these things because they are very delicate. Just hold it real lightly and slide your pieces in and get it into place and there you go and we're going to put some extra glue around that and there you have it now if you want to use a paintbrush to clean out your little spots such as like right here you can use a paintbrush a small craft brush I like the screwdriver because it actually will scrape down to the bare wood to get that extra glue off. Use your fingernail like that. But there it is. And like these wings here, they're standing straight up. So we talked about a smooth side. Here's a smoother side. This is the rougher side. Same with this smooth side. This is a little bit rougher. So we put that on the inside here, which is more an upward fashion. Like if you were to look at it like that, you wouldn't see the slightly rougher side. If you decide to leave it plain, spray lacquer on it. Um, might want to put some paint on it, whatever kind. But like I said, all these come from Harbor Freight. And there's the butterfly. And there's the butterfly. It's just like the picture. And we have two left. We got the cricket and the brachiosaurus. But to do these and to add the extra glue, um, I would say probably an hour to take and punch it all out. Put the extra glue in. Um, it's not that hard, but if you take your time, maybe an hour to do it. I stopped on this and restarted to finish the legs, and that took just a few minutes. And then when you're trying to uh, record it, it takes a little bit longer to do it. But there you have it. These are, um, if you look on Harbor Freight's website, I believe they're called Wood Puzzles or Wooden Puzzles. And when you go to Harbor Freight store, the stores I've been in, they're in the back of the store usually. Back there where they have the craft stuff such as um, model airplanes. Uh, they have some like remote control model helicopters. These things will be back there in that section. And if you can't find them, just ask somebody. Or you can probably order them online. But like I said, they're $1.99. Makes a good little craft for some kids to do. Some adults to do. And you can hang them by a string. Hang them up in the air and let them dangle somewhere. And they'll come out really nice if you take your time and do them. And add that extra glue and add the extra glue on each side of each piece. And don't forget like those legs, don't forget the underside, put the glue on there. And that'll make it extra sturdy. But as always, thanks for tuning in. 
And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe because subscriptions are free. It doesn't cost anything in case anybody didn't know that. But um, And as always, thank you. And you had the Blind Guy YouTube channel and saying have a nice rest of your day.